Hello, welcome back to my playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West, my ultra hard playthrough. Um, so, uh, our last episode we were doing a few side quests um, to finish off, um, well, just to finish off a few side quests that have been straggling before we head over to the Burning Shores. So this is kind of in between, these uh, couple of series will be in between um, Forbidden West Endgame, so we've completed the main quest missions and the Burning Shores, which is the DLC. So there's a few quests that we've done. And it occurred to me, uh, we picked up one quest last, um, we picked up one quest last episode called In Blooms back in Scalding Sphere, which is in the Tanakh territory with the intention of kind of like, um, um, kind of like a doing it on the way while we completed the plain song quest and I forgot to do it so <laughs> and I was in the area too so I'm back in the area Riverhead. I should look for Nilo give him the scarlet stones the and we're just in plain song said he might be near the memorial grove it's raining by the way really nice but um I just wanted to you know finish off this quest because I think the side quests were here or the end game basically our post end game or if we forgot to do, or if we didn't do the River Him side quest and it brings us back here. Because I don't really see a point in it. We don't really get a lot of, uh... uh hi there. Items or anything. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. The seeds hmm. were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others, including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon Riverhem. I'd like to weave some flowers, if I may, from an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Preferred to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is. But if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. His old girlfriend, so... Which I guess he never told his family about. Just fine. Okay. Alrighty. So now we did that. We are going to return to Dorica eventually, but we're going to return to um, Chain Scrape to do that quest. Um, where is my. Let's go through here. Let's go through here. It's been a while since I've been to uh, River Him. And I like this place. This is probably one of my favorite settlements in the game. Like, there's this beautiful tree here with the lamps. And just everybody in general. And there's like these hives here, these beehives here, where they collect honey for their sticky bombs and other stuff. But I think that's really, really cool that they have like, um, and even the way that these hives are set up. Really cool. I love it. It's so detailed too. Check it out. And it's raining, so you don't see a lot of bees, I imagine, but I know I've seen bees around here, so um, I love these details. So let's head back here. And then we're going to head back to Chainscrape and we're going to do Porgif's quest, which again isn't a... It's a... There's not much to it. It's just basically a fetch quest. And I think it's just to kind of like help Aloy finish up because uh yeah so just come back to all the places that she's been to before and 
I love that she pops in right in the middle of these dudes. <laughs> Such a weird way to enter. Okay. And then these two here, if we remember them from Chainscape, they always have some kind of like new dialogue. You really think it's true? People flying machines out west? You're the one who believed there was a city of floating lights out in the desert. But there is. What'll it be? You gotta draw the line somewhere, though. <laughs> if I see anyone fly over this dump, I'm out. That was weird. I'm getting carried off by some nut in the metal bird. Maybe you can throw that lucky hammer at him. Maybe I'll throw you. Just scare him off, all right? Now these people are flirting. That's how Ostrom flirt. <laughs> um. Okay. I think um, I sold everything I needed to. Um, once again, as you can see, I have 69 shards, which is not nice. Um, but, uh, I always have issues with currency management. So, um, oh yeah, let's, uh, talk to Petra. So this quest, Porgo's quest, um, brings us back to Petra, which is really fun. I wonder if Mildup has... Some words for us. Oh, this will really boil their broth. Not really. I'll add a sprinkle of chili to He's their desserts. Help owning Alvind. Um, low health melee. It's fine. I don't. I don't use food a lot. Uh, where am I going? I see the Cardra Magistrate is not here. Did I know that? Um, we never did finish up with Machine Strike. You know what? Come for another round. Hey, Petra, we missed you. Um, hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. The Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. I gotta go, Petra. That you do. I'll keep the seat warm for you. It's been, at this point, probably, um, lore-wise, you're RPing this several weeks, if not a couple of months already. <laughs> I love how Petra's still hanging out her, her seat, just drinking. This is cool. Life in chain scrape. But it's nice to be back. It's, um, I was having such a difficult time with Ultra Hard in these early levels. If you recall, you could just go back into my um, previous streams and check check it out. It's, um, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. I'd be dying to scroungers and freaking burrowers. That's ridiculous. Okay. I think I have to be here. Yeah, I was, uh, I was not having a good time at it. I didn't think I would make it through. Um, but I think, uh, once you start getting into the purple weapons, it looks like things become a little bit more tolerable. And I even had some arena wins under my belt. Let me just show you, because I think I picked up another weapon, too. Um, resources? Uh, oops. No, special gear. So I have 10 arena medals left because I spent all of mine. And I, uh, let's go into my weapons. Let's sort by legendary. So I now have the Sun Scorch. Um, Ancestors Return. These are from, um, completing some collectors, collectibles. And then I have the Death Seeker Shadow, finally. 
and I picked up the Blast Forge because I realized I was actually kind of having fun with the um, Bolt Blasters. I had actually, if you recall, when we did um, Valley of the Fallen, our reward was um, a Bolt Blaster. It was called the Sky Strike Bolt Blaster. I used this for arenas and it was not bad. Not bad at all. So as you could see, I leveled it up. And I replaced the Relentless Bolt Blaster, which I believe is a um, reward from the Hunting Grounds. I turned in some medals for that, but this was much better. So if you don't have the Legendary, I would recommend doing the Valley of the Fallen and uh, picking up the Sky Strike Bolt Blaster because it was amazing. It was really, really fun. And the fact that this has um, Cross Demo 2 on it, super useful. I will have my um, Arena. I'll have some of my arena, um, successful arena uh, kills um, on this channel soon. So I'll have like, I'll, I'll, I have to edit them and compile them and everything. But yeah, so yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty happy that I, I completed some of the arenas enough to upgrade some of my weapons. And uh, as for outfits, I'm still using the Nora Thunder Warrior. I think there's at least... Um, Actually, I like all the outfits. Even I'm getting even used to the Karja wrapper outfit. So yeah. Anyway, How'd all this to say you? is um, that once you get into better weapons, then Ultra Hard on a fresh game becomes tons easier. But in the beginning, it was it was a little bit tricky. Hello, Mr. Boar. Hi. Nice sweat going. Morsa. Yeah. What's it? Oh. The Nora me. How do you know my name? I uh, met your brother Porgif out west. He asked me to give you this. <laughs> my ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, <laughs> that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. No. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge? Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgif read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgif got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! <laughs> Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there, by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here. For your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> so there's that. And then do do do. I think. Well, there is this um. Um What do you call them? Underground uh, tunnels? Yeah. There's those. I'm not going to do them. Uh, 
At least I'm not going to record. Hey, I got another Ostrom, uh, face dye. Okay. So... I'll give the Ostrom a, a show here. <laughs> we need to find a spot for the Is there a place for the bird to land? I think so, up there? That's okay. So, let's take a nice little journey through the dot here. Oh, there's a perch right there. I see, I see. Oh my gosh, I was so scared of these machines. Back when I was level 5. This is where we fought the Bristlebacks. And I believe the hunting grounds are coming up here. Mm. There's where we met Erend in the Forbidden West. I have such a hard time with this. I was um, level 17, I think, or level 15, when I finally completed it, as in got like all the medals that I needed. Ah, oh, this is nice. It's weird because I've only been like, you know, a couple of weeks since I've started playing this. And again, I'm nostalgic. Kind of want to go back. But do I want to do ultra hard again? I don't know. I might be a little bit nuts that way. Okay, so we're here for a reason. Let's, uh, not anywhere you park. A bird to park. Yeah, there's right here, right? There we go. I love that they put these perches here for our for our flying mount. Okay, we're here for a reason. Before we leave Baron Light forever. Hello. I do love this place, and I miss the Karja. I miss, um, Karja architecture, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. That was a weird way to... I'm gonna go through here as a shortcut. Yeah, you. There's a couple of conversations that we could have here. Hi, Talana. I'll see you in a bit. Um... Still waiting. For what? You know. For a decent meal, a warm bath, a gentle hug. An apology. <laughs> for doing my job? For keeping me locked up when I was innocent. Oh, that. I'm sorry. Yeah? <laughs> but I'm not going to apologize. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. Me, gentlemen. They were gonna put him to death. I'm glad to see you out of that cell. Did you get them? We we're gonna I execute him. I think they he deserves an apology. Done. For good. You hear that? She did our job for us again. And survived to tell the tale. He looks so good in his co in his costume, his <laughs> uniform. You were telling the truth. See, at least someone around here listens to me. It's nice to see him in his uniform. Okay. Now, why I'm really here is... I just want to see how... Oh, look at our bird just watching us. Hi, Talana. I'm guessing Amadis went on his way. We parted once we were inside the gates. I promised I'd see him back to the Sundom, and I did. I'm sorry you went through all of that just to break things off in the end. I'm not. Really? I don't want to be with him while he's still holding on to Nessa. Maybe he'll never let go. Or maybe when he's figured himself out. Ugh, who knows? All I can say right now is that there's no one quite like him. That sounds... complicated. Taking down a Thunderjaw is easier. One day you'll know what I mean. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's what I used to say. Oh, Ayla. As for me, I have the Hunter's Lodge One day to you'll know. To. Rushes to train, bigoted nobles to boot out. But hey, look, the one good thing out of all of this mess was that I got to spend time with you again. I'll miss you, Talana. Well, 
Whenever you take down a big machine out there, just remember that I'm back east taking down something bigger. <laughs> Not. Okay. You're on. Come here. Aww. Until we meet again. I love Talana. I really do. And I'm gonna miss her. I wish she joined us. I think, like, um, I mean, I think really, Eloy really, really liked her. Not gonna lie, so. Um. So, alright. Last thing before we head over to the Isle of Spires, and I promise we're gonna get there. I know it's been, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, we're gonna head back to Camp Nowhere. One last time. We're just going to use a fast travel pack. Okay. And we're going to see how Mars is doing. Uh, no rewards from those uh, quests. All right. All right. All right. I still flame. Did you get the box to my sister? I did. And she told me about the incident with the keg. So she remembers. Well, I guess that's something. Thanks for letting me know. Got something you want to hear, Red? Um, is that it? I thought Marcia would join us here. Maybe we'll have to come back later, so. That's okay. We will come back here, so. Uh, do do do. No, I don't want to sell anything. What am I doing here? I wanted. Oh, that's right. I only have sixty-nine shirts. Oh. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I could sell some stuff because I do need a few. I do need, do need shards for ammo. Let's uh. Do we have any more oils? I'll sell these because I don't really use them. So I have some shards for um, it off, huh? ammunition. So uh, now, yes, let's pop over to. We're not going to see you, Silence, right now. I mean, Silence did summon us, but I figured Aloy is doing a power move, and she's going to. Do everything else first before she talks to silence. <laughs> okay. I love Spire's time. I've been looking I've been you, Aloy. very much looking forward to seeing the Isle of Spires again. So we're at Legacy Landfall now. And we are going to be doing Alva's quest. I think. Yeah, we'll be doing Alva's quest. Do we want to do Alva's quest or do we just want to bop around the Alva Spires for a bit? Okay. Here is. You know what? Let's uh, do this quest first. Actually, no. Let's go talk to these people first. We'll pick up all the quests around here. And we'll do them. We'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here. For good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. <laughs> Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships went home with Overseer Bohai. We were entrusted with the one instrument that can guide the remainder of the expedition back across the ocean, and now it's broken. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My, uh, wife, Meandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. 
She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. <laughs> so what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location, but it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you, since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland, and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. That's why we carry backups. Unfortunately, this one was damaged. With everything that was going on, no one noticed, and now it's too late. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. We were chosen to stay behind with Diviner Alva, to ensure the rest of the expedition can make it back home when needed. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. It is interesting how the conversation has changed, because the first time I did this, I did this before the end game, before the uh, last mission. And the conversation was much different. So now they're talking about how they stayed behind with Diviner Alva, whereas before they were talking about they were the navigators to help the Quen on their journeys so that they were going to follow Bohai back home. So interesting. Maybe I can help. <sighs> Not unless you can fly. What if I told you I can use one of those sun wings to take me there? You could do that? Why not? She's an ancestor reborn. Anything is possible. The ship lies on an island east of here, past the fleet. All right, then that's where I'll go. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Okay. Um, well, let's talk to this guy. To make it to this ship of theirs. Keeps begging us to help him, so we'll help him. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've no one else to turn to. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer denied my request for a search party. Now that he's taken most of the fleet back home, we need all hands on deck to ensure the safety of this camp. I can't just abandon my post. But you think your brother might still be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? <laughs> So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is... 
gone. Could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe for him. Of course. We'll do what we can. All right, let's uh, talk to Alva. Hi, dear. Hey, Alva. Thank you for sticking around. I know it couldn't have been easy to stay when most of the Quen went home. I came to this land to find a way to save my family. I can't go back yet. Not with what's coming. I told Bohai about Nemesis, and I gave him a new focus. Oh. Are you sure we can trust him with it? I know he'll probably find a way to twist it to his advantage with the other overseers back home. But once Gaia is completely up and running again, we might be able to set up a network so that we can stay in contact. Maybe I'll even get to speak to my sister. And he said he would petition the Emperor to send us aid. Do you think the Emperor will listen? To be honest, I don't know. But I hope so. Oh, and if you have a moment, I have an update on the data about Leviathan. Of course. Since you're back in Landfall, were you able to find the data you were after on Leviathan? Not quite. I spoke to the other Diviner, but it wasn't easy to get him to talk. It seems the data is wrapped up in something dangerous. Something compromising on the Ancestor. Forbidden knowledge. Yes. But I managed to get the facility's location from him. It's not far. We'll find it together then. I'm ready to head out now, if you are. Not quite. I have some other things to take care of first. Okay. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. So, we are going to take care of the other things first because I want Alva to be here with us as long as possible. Um, let me just uh, map out where we need to go. I did forget that we did have... Uh, we did have one last side quest here. I think we're done with side quests in the Forbidden West, I believe. I don't know if there's anything else left to do. Um, but I kind of want to just bop over there quickly and just pick it up. Because it will tie back to stuff we're doing here. It's been like 30 minutes with just picking up quests. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, it's nice to be back here. We need warriors, not acrobats. Will you stay to hunt down the holdout? Okay. I could get raiders you're talking about. Some of Regala's supporters were hunted down near here. Most fought to the death. But one group had other ideas. They escaped pursuit and raided Tide's Reach. They were last seen out to sea to the west. The raiders escaped out to sea? We think that's why they raided the settlement. They built a... a flat boat. Bits of wood tied together? Uh... raft? <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to sea on one. But it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards. Steal supplies and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. I could fly out to sea to search for those raiders. We can. Okay, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fly out to sea. Um... That though, because Evan knows we need it. All right. Um, we have six skill points here, so let's pick up a couple of stuffs. Um, let's grab. I'm trying to prioritize them. I'm going to grab the low health melee. And what's here? Anything worth it here is override overdrive. This is helpful, but um, we don't use it. We don't use most of the new ones. 
I think um, we'll do this. Wait, what's this? Warrior's Instinct. I don't even know what that is. Okay. All right, let's grab. No. It is oh, come on. We have to swim. There we go. All right, so let's grab this. So we just pick up this quest. Um, the sentry said the raft was heading west. On raft in an ocean. Should be easy to find. But you got a bird, so you're good. And I think this will lead to um, an out, a rebel outpost, basically. This is what this quest is about. Am I in the right place? Wreckage. In the raft. Is this it? These fugitives don't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down there. There's someone down in that rocky outcrop. Leave me here, Outlander! Okay. Hello? You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Hold up on top of a tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were true Tanakh, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh that Tide's Reach think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Not gonna be much of a battle. Why did you abandon the other raiders? They abandoned the cause. They seek carnage, not honor. May I help you? You think the attack on Tide's Reach was honorable? I wanted to face the guards in battle, but the others murdered them in their sleep. The rebellion is over, you know. So you say. I say there will always be those who want the Tanakh to be true to themselves. Leave me. You'll find the others on the tower if you keep going to the west. Okay. Find your justice there. I still leave you. Some of those fugitives are in a tower to the west. Who out with me? If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the coin. What do you think they're to the coin? Wait, right, let's uh, fly over. Not much of a view at night, but this is okay because I'll consider this a stop mission. Stealth infiltration mission. Should I wear my stealthy armor? Good. And it's one of the towers here. Oh, landfall just totally popped right in. This is beautiful, but kind of sad. Oh. Hi. Hello and goodbye, landfall. Which one? This one, right? No, it's this one. I can see the light over there. There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach. Better to fly above. There's someone flying. Nobody's flying. Who cares? Bring her down. Okay, that's the raiders. And they are a threat. Better find a place to land and fight. 
Eight. Did I know that I could land here? I must be the tower Joe Wall mentioned. It's full of sunlight. Oh my god, you're all the way at the edge here. Okay. So I guess what we could do is look down to here. Crazy. Can I? This might come above. Nice, nice work. This tower is ours! More of you? Yes, there is. Where are you? Okay. Sneak in. This oh. isn't your business. Tides reach again. That was a very difficult thing to. Is this all their supplies? Whatever they stole, Rosa they've blast used sling. lost oh. most of it. Well, oh, that's we'll helpful. Here. Maybe I should have done this sooner. Um, let me just check out that weapon quickly. It is a blast sling. Um, and. Birch water, nice, acid, and adhesive. Can we? Well, this for purge water, in case we ever use it, which I don't think we will, but whatever. Uh, okay, so how do we get up there? Excuse me for losing my voice. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's a green shine up there, too. <clears throat> nice. That will help replenish some of our shards, at least. Where is this green shine? I have to... Log in it. Drop to ledge. Two. Could it have gone? Oh, there's another ledge below. There it is. Excuse me, let's oh. Trying my best not to look down. Alright. Lovely. Okay, so where are we now? And where do we want to go? Um, 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 we eventually want to make our way up here because there's a Stormbird site there. And, oh, pardon me. Uh, what do we do? Another shelter over here. Let's go over here. Where is, okay, there is, um, pyramid building. I don't know what this building is called, sorry. I don't know American cities very well. Um, you think I would, because I love architecture. 
But yeah, this uh, very famous San Francisco um, building, which is now in ruins. So we're just heading over here. This guy has some stuff for us. Maybe? They recently re-added this vendor because for the longest time he was missing. So there was like coils and waves that only you could get from him. For example, the draw speed. Um, boss melee follow-up. But we don't need anything right now. We are going to sell our resource though. Because we need shards. Having a good day? And does that mean I could upgrade anything here? Let me just take a look. Why did I have this stealth tear? Okay, we didn't need stealth tear right now. But we did want to upgrade this because it gives us the evader, which can be helpful. So if you upgrade some of these outfits, they'll give you a specific weave. And that's the only reason why I'm upgrading that outfit. But yeah. Um. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I do I do a little bit of hunting on them. On uh, off camera, so. Why am I always low on uh, stuff too? You're upgrading everything, including this. Even machine muscle, I keep running low on them. It's ridiculous and annoying. Okay, there. I'm not gonna buy anything else because I kind of want to save the shards. Anonymize. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. So okay. There is a much easier way to do this, and basically that involves just flying over and doing that, but it's not as fun. It really isn't as fun, so... Uh, I'm just gonna do this, like, the old-fashioned way. Because, uh, because why not? We get to explore the area. So that's where we need to go, this tower there. Oh, let's harvest some... Lobster while you're <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it's um a lot more quick if you fly over things, but then I don't get to like but crap. <laughs> okay. And also there's a lot of interesting cute little areas here, but... Like, for example, if I swim... Like, here's... All these gorgeous ruins. Oh. And some moonfish. What's this? Ancient valuables box. Yes. Nope. Yes, sir. Hello, where did this box go? There it is. Okay. It's just kind of floating. Of course it would. Oh, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> but, yeah, you don't really get to... Is there something else here? What's... What is this? Ancient supply box? Yeah, like I said, you don't really get to explore a lot of the areas here. 
if you fly, if you just um, use your summoning to fly everywhere. Not that it needs to be explored, but it is very pretty. All right. Okay, let's get back on track. I think it's morning now, so at least we have daylight. Let's see if we could fetch this moonfish on the way. I just realized how, um, not just realized, but um, I was recently informed of um, how... <clears throat> Look how lucrative uh, farming animals were for, for their parts. Look, on the beach. <clears throat> a clean scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic like Jomar mentioned. No relic. Ooh, did you over. see that sun? I should take a look around. So Let's see if I can find anyone else. I want to have this for record. Uh, my records, but basically I love this area. Little area here. You can only discover this area if you're doing this particular quest. But I don't, like I said, I don't know um, San Francisco very well. But oh, I forgot. There's claw striders here. I'm gonna have to kill them probably. This area ties into the um, gameplay demo that they released before Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. Apex, do I want to kill you? Can I go through here? Uh, I forget the exact route, but, um... Oh yeah. I'll find it and I'll show you guys. Alright. No, you know what? I, I want to clear this place because... I want to show you guys this area because I love it. I think there's a little... I feel like those brace shots aren't worth it. a good angle but, oh okay uh -oh. Ooh, oh my gosh good old Oh, I kept... Oh, for fuck's sake. I got stuck in the water. No, uh, this is not acceptable. Hey, go well, go on, take it. No, it didn't go well. Shut up. Oh, God. That was embarrassing. Let's try that again. Freaking God, that was so humiliating. 
And all the moonfish that I found. Nope. Now, the journey of vengeance. I will clear this area. Acid won't make much of a dent. Outfit, which is minus 19 to fire. Okay. Oh my god. Let's, uh. Nope. Where's my infiltrator stuff? There it is. This is what I wanted. Very tight area, isn't it? <laughs> see your tail sticking out. God. These jerks. <laughs> this is probably a really bad place to fight. <laughs> Use the elite arrows. Ah, oh, or not miss. That's nice. Oops. Okay, one down. <laughs> Out of all tossage. Sorry, I killed your partner. Not sorry. Okay. Maybe I should have been using the elite arrows all this time. Here I am talking up the fact that um it's gotten easier with Ultra Hard with my upgraded weapons and I die. I die because I got stuck in the water. Which is my fault. I shouldn't really not have but um I just start a fight. In such tight quarters. 
but I really just wanted to throw this area off a little bit. This is so pretty. Actually, um, I did want to switch to the Tara Warden, which Zoe gave us for helping her with the land gods. And where is... You guys know the place I'm looking for. Not this church, is it? Let's get some over. area. It's so pretty here. But, um... Was I mistaken? Am I not thinking about the right place? Maybe not. Um... Where's it up ahead? The place that I was looking for was ruins of a diner. And I forgot where it is. It's kind of fun just kind of rediscovering the area here. This is one of the reasons why I like the Isle of Spire so much and why I held off until the end. Because it's lovely. And this here... is where we start the demo. From the... Um, from the gameplay demo way back when. So, this is fun. Uh, but we're not going to do that right here. Because... And I'm almost in the actual... Um, I am almost in the same outfit. Like I said, there are a whole bunch of shortcuts to this quest, but I kind of want to... I want to go through this because it's a nice area, like I said, and it's fun to explore. Relic. Can't be Jomar's brother. I, should take I don't mind doing this slow mode. <laughs> I can find anyone else. Uh, well, let's kill them. Apex Red-Eyed Watcher. Oh, there's more. Why do you guys not die so easily? You just die. The machine can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. You could. behind me. Uh, let's do this. Oh my 
my goodness. So weird. Do I keep me missing? Necessarily want to get the packs because I need components. I did though. I think he's stuck. Is there another one around here? Yes, there is. Audio is so weird. I feel like it sounds like it's like really close by or behind me. I'm gonna grab this. stuck. There's other loot. I forget to pick them up. Okay, let's grab them. Is 
There's no relic. Not sure if either of them are Oris. But maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines? My focus might show me more. Oh. Huh. Nothing. Maybe my focus can pick up their tracks instead? There. Maybe Oris escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Where are you going? Oh, right, okay. So it takes us back up this route. Intriguing. It's been a while since I've done this quest, apparently. <laughs> okay. Machine. It looks like it gave chase, but Oris fought it off. Why not I loot it? Of course. He ran inside the tower. No way to escape those sunlings up there. Indeed. Where are they? Plasma won't have much effect on it. Mm. Where's the sunwing patrol? Alright, let's go. End here. We must have climbed up this tower. Hmm. There's a couple here. Let's draw them all out. should have done this the easy way. everybody.
more. to use the cheap arrows for this one. Oh, unless I'm gonna miss. have a lot of health, don't they? Let's end this, please. Thank you. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. That was a lot. And I did not think I was going to make it, but I did. We are going to loot everything because we need stuff. Okay. back there. Okay. And where's the other two? There's one sunwing over there. And some berries. Thank you. There was a fourth. Uh, could have been wrong. Or maybe I looted it already. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's do this. This should be a little bit easier to do now. Remember, I was the one who said I wanted to do it the hard way, right? So, in case somebody's watching this, the easy way is just taking your sunwing and flying to the top of this tower. I need to find a way up this tower. I mean, I'm doing an ultra hard playthrough. I'm not doing it just to get through everything, right? So that's that's my reasoning at least. Right, so I think we're almost up here. This tower. Dead end. Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Mm hmm.
can climb up. Like I said, long way. Cool. Oh, another close one. Focus picked a data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, hey, I'm here. Alva, I found some data you might be interested in. I'm sending it to you now. I'll take a look. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Yeah. Okay. How do I get out of here? There is some loot over here. A rush of air. There's no air in here. <laughs> okay. Where's my birdie? Where am I? Okay, so I think, uh, Bumbling Sight, Metal Shards. Now, I believe we're in the vicinity. Oh, that's off of, um, Landfall. Okay, so we're gonna head over that way. Ooh, there's the horrors in the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back there later. Okay. So this episode, um, no thanks for like picking up a whole bunch of quests and change here from the beginning. It's taking a bit longer than I thought it was. So we're gonna take a quick break here, and uh, I'll break it up into two episodes. So I'll see you then. Bye.